All right, guys, what's up? Um, so today, in the last few days, actually, I've uh, been working on this here and there. Um, if you watched, I'm not sure where I'm going to put this clip in the video, maybe at the beginning, but uh, if you watch through this, you'll kind of see some install. It's not a tutorial. It's just like 80 times fast me installing stuff and until my like battery dies or shuts off or whatever right so um start off we have i think this is the vm 22 millimeter carb and manifold um i wanted the manifold that pointed backwards because i'm not trying to have forced induction mess up my jetting um all i did for jetting was i moved yeah, it's it's easier for me to show you. Let's try and set this right here. Um, is that gonna, okay, that'll set. So the the needle is like this, and I moved the clip down, down. So it brought the needle up, which is gonna give it more fuel. All right, and then that's it. That's all I did. Um, I moved the idle adjusting screw uh wherever it is somewhere oh right in the middle there i moved that but i ended up moving it back to where it goes okay um i also got this nibby style throttle cable um just better quality than um the original one it came with this uh gold throttle these are the original grips um now that we're up here i got the pro taper bars um if you can see uh these had like um the the bars were drilled basically and there was like a centering pin for both of these um i didn't use that i just put some electrical tape around the bars and squeezed it shut so it doesn't move around right because without it it will move around like this one still kind of moves um i took off the choke thing because that's now down here on there and i didn't want to try and orchestrate a choke line um this exhaust is shitty um it doesn't work with this right like even the picture on ebay shows like a bent up exhaust like that to fit on this um my thoughts on this oh and if you see that hose clamp that's because the flange on the exhaust pipe right so there's a wider part where the cinch is to the flange sits deeper than um this so if you tighten this up all the way it's still loose so I just put the hose clamp there just for temporary fix. What I want to do with this exhaust is I want to use this exhaust, but I want to use the upper mount, right? Like the high mount. So basically if I come over here and grab this, <coughs> All right, so this is what I was talking about, the flange. The flange on this, right, like this, this portion is about half the size that it needs to be. So um, what I wanna do is basically put this exhaust here so that this comes up right here and then like have this bend, right? and cut this and like weld it onto here um i'm not sure if this is a restriction or what or if it's like a cat um but i won't use that so the exhaust is gonna change um when i'm not sure um and then you saw it jiggle apart it's because i just I don't have this on yet, but that kind of goes like this from the pictures I saw. And then this 
goes on to here just like that something something cheap and easy uh, I just need to grab a different bolt and a bigger washer for it um, <coughs> what else did I do um, I have the engine mount bolts that bolt and that bolt right there it's an allen head um, I have the 3 ace I think they're by 16 and uh, 5 inches long and I have the like a Milwaukee drill bit that is also 3 ace so basically what you do is you take one out at a time and you drill straight through and you replace it with the larger 3 ace bolt and then you take all this off Drill through that, replace it with a larger 3 8 bolt. Um, here, this is the Nibby high output coil. I lost my train of thought there for a second. Um, to install the Nibby high output coil, you have to, because um, this green was normally a loop, like a ring. So I just happen to have a actual clip that I um, crimped on. Green to green, black to black. Um, this, uh, one of these parts came with a spark plug and I just threw that in because I, it, I got it. I'm, I plan on doing like an NGK plug um, I deleted the EGR and all the stuff. Um, right now this is my crank case vent. If you see, it just goes into here. Crank case vent. I'm going to get a filter for that. And uh, kind of just keep it up here. Zip tie it up here with a filter. Um, really, unless you're doing like 12 o'clock wheelies for a long time, you shouldn't need that. But it's a it's a good thing to have um, let's see I think that's about it for this side on to the back fender eliminator kit from eBay it's actually really good quality um, nice material uh, aluminum that took a little bit to um, get installed obviously I still have this side apart so I can kind of show you what's going on underneath here. All right, so there's four bolts, one, two, three, four. Um, these two I don't need to take or put back in because I'm not putting the big rack back on, um, at least for now. I still have it um, under here, basically. The, this kit was basically plug and play. You unplug, plug in, right? Um, the black wires must be like ground because they go together. And then you just kind of figure out, you know, which one goes to where. As far as does blue, is blue connected to the left blinker? Or is orange connected to the right blinker? I don't remember. I suppose I can just show you for right now. Okay, so right blinker is on. If I disconnect one of these, I'll set you right here. Okay, so the blue wire is going to be your right blinker, and the orange wire is going to be your left. Um, turn that blinker off. Right blinker. Okay, so that's that. <coughs> um, I got an eBay gold 428 chain x-ring chain i think it's called um i got that installed uh loctited the tensioner bolt um 
that was kind of a B word to get off because I used the wrong adapter for my breaker tool and I ended up just using a grinder so when I used the grinder I just ground this off and this off and then stuck something like a screwdriver in between the two and like pried it apart um, I did have to shorten it maybe eight ten lengths off I don't know um, <clears throat> else i took off this the old shifter is actually just a hazard it's got like a bunch of linkage and it like has a ton of play um this shifter is like an ebay one a i don't know how much it is i'll have a link in the description um but this is a really nice shifter i went with gold because i figured i'll put some gold accents on here and there um for the egr delete I just crimped this, cut it, and kind of crimped it. Um, not too worried about any leakage. Otherwise, I will um, just make a quick bracket, you know, or a block off plate. Really, I could take this off, trace it out on a piece of metal, and cut it off with the cutoff wheel. But um, I am still waiting for the big bore kit. That'll make it a 141cc and the cam. Um, actually, I have the big bore kit. I'm just waiting on the cam. No sense in doing it. Uh, look at, make sure you lock tight your shit. Um, obviously, I'm taking this part apart so I didn't lock tight it. Um, what else do we have? Um, so this is the other side of the mounting bolt right here and you can't see this one without taking this cover off um, I did put the 17 tooth sprocket on and The original stock one is a 14 So it's quite the difference uh, Quite the difference it should do a lot higher of a top speed um, A couple things I didn't do yet are is the cush drive um, do you see how much play there is when I move the tire and like the chain doesn't move? I'm not sure if you can see with me shaking. Right, so the cush drives on these are junk. Um, definitely replace it. I just ordered the Honda Gram OEM one. So, um, I am going to take, take that apart and put that back together with a good cush drive. This, I noticed, came loose. Um, so I am gonna tighten that up more and put some Loctite. If you don't have the right tool, what I found is you can just like stick a screwdriver right there and hit it with a hammer a little bit. Um, that'll get it pretty tight. And then go the opposite way with like the top one. And that'll, you know, once you've got it where you set, that'll like pinch the nuts together. Um, I'm not, I'm not trying to come off like you, you guys are dumbasses. Um, I'm just thoroughly explaining it to eliminate questions later. Oh, uh, excuse me. Yeah, so this is the shifter. This linkage is absolutely terrible. There's so much play in it. Um, it had to be deleted. So I, it makes the the actual like shifter a little bit more forward, All right? But I got big feet, so that's not a big deal. Um, if you had smaller feet, you know, maybe you could shorten this or bend it or something. But um, you know, these are like ten and a half or elevens, depending on what shoes you get, and it fits like right where I want it to be um, yeah so I think that's pretty much it until we get the big bore kit I didn't do a speed run um, I'm still waiting to get it licensed I think Wednesday I'm gonna get it licensed uh, so I didn't do a speed run and uh, I'm not sure if I'll get to do the speed run before the big bore kit but uh, I'm not really, I don't really care about top speed. Um, I just wanted more like right now power. 
you know I don't know if anyone's wheelie in these but uh, I like to do some wheelies um, so yeah that is my 2022 X Pro Vader 125 I assume they're all the same if you got you know a 2017 um, if you got like a 2017 it's probably the same as this one so you can do all the same stuff um, I'll give you another start up with exhaust note the other thing I don't like is I should have bent this exhaust out like a little bit more so we had some more swing arm clearance obviously it's there's enough but yeah I'd have liked a little more this still has the uh, resonator whatever it is the quieter downer in but uh, I think it's an Allen it is an Allen so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get I'm gonna get you a little further back so you can see me but let's see can you see now um, yeah okay so I'll get you an exhaust clip then I will take this out get another exhaust clip So that's one exhaust clip. I'm actually going to leave the camera right where it is. Alright, I took out the quieter downer. All it is would be a, what is that, 3mm Allen. And a little pliers. So now we'll try the exhaust now. So it's quite a bit louder without the uh, thing, quieter downer, I don't know what that's called, but uh, I think I'm probably going to put it back in because um, I like it loud, but that's that's a little excessive. Um, thanks for watching the video guys, hope you like my new little project. Um, if you have one of these and you like... Uh, like this kind of stuff i appreciate the like and follow and uh share with your friends um yeah if you like this video if you want to see more put a like down below um that's all i got have a good day what's up guys uh i just got this this right here um it's a x pro vader or a BD 125-10 uh, Chinese Chinese Grom clone basically um, $1,700 shipped to my door uh, it took six days to get here um, today we're gonna be assembling it but um, it's already assembled and running. Right, I just have the oil that came with it in it. I took it for like a 1.5, 1.8 miles. Um, it's not enough, not enough power. I don't have the power I'm looking for. So we have some parts for it. <laughs> um, first off, probe taper bars new chain uh throttle uh fender eliminator kit right here that's to delete all this crap 
and make it clean and tight tidy uh bigger carb 17 tooth sprocket uh nibby high output coil honda cush drives for the rear um chain thing we have honda bearings for the wheels a jet kit exhaust um that's some of the places i ordered from along with ebay and amazon and a big board kit um i'm actually going to wait on the big board kit because the cam didn't come in yet so we're going to put everything else on and wait on the big board kit um see what what uh what we can get out of it for speed and i'm not really i don't really care too much about speed i just want more power like right away power so um a little walk around uh, ideally i'd like to do some wheelies and stuff on this but uh it like i tried and it doesn't have the power and then the chain skip was skipping <laughs> So I think I messed something up on there, but we're going to fix that anyway. Um, it's actually... What is that button for? What is that switch for? Anyone know what this switch is for? It says lights, but I don't see no lights changing. Um, high beam, low beam, pass light, uh, blinker. Another blinker. Yeah, it's actually nice. I, I like it. It's, it's cool. The seat sits a little far forward for me. I'd rather be back here. It kind of like pushes you forward. But uh, yeah, we're going to basically take it apart because we're going to put all this good stuff on. Um, see how far we can get today. So, exhaust is off. Um, I didn't see it like pinched in between here somewhere. I just kind of put my foot right here and pushed it down and then it all kind of came off. I still had this bolt in and I removed that too. So. Yeah, that was like pinched in something. I don't know. Um, hi, hi, Soren. Working on a motorcycle. Don't you need to get dressed? Don't you need to get dressed? You just have a diaper on. Okay, so this cheap Amazon or eBay, it's probably eBay. This one, um, it's got too much of a bend here. We need to unbend that. So I'm gonna see if I can stick a pipe on here. And just kind of give it a little ugh. Daddy, look! 